so welcome everyone in this video and what we are going to learn today is called linear regression linear regression so let's take a common physics equation which we know it's not an equation it's basically a relation known as Ohm's law we are very much well accustomed with this that V equals to IR the current across the wires of a conductor is directly proportional to the voltage applied across its end and this is valid only for ohmic conductors ohmic conductors so now from this relation what we expect is if we draw a curve by the by plotting various v and i's then what we shall obtain is a straight line passing through the origin like this and the slope of this straight line must give us the resistance of this conductor the slope of this curve must give us the resistance of the conductor so in practical situation suppose you are given such a conductor and asked to find the resistance of it by plotting various v and i's in this graph plotting various v and i's and to find the resistance you must need to calculate the slope of that graph but in real life or in the lab after you do the practical suppose you obtain points which does not make a clear straight line but are in this form thus when I join this I do not get a straight line but I get a curve like this so you might be wondering that the theory says that I should get a straight line like this but in practice I am obtaining a curve like this so the fallacy in this graph lies in the fact that the instruments which we use the instruments which we use in our daily life are not 100% accurate there are certain errors due to which we are getting such a such errors in this plot so what we can do is we can plot a graph a graph which the distance from these points to this graph is as minimum as possible so I will repeat this again we can actually draw a graph like this a straight line like this which will which we will draw in such a manner that the distance from these points to this graph that is the difference of the actual value and the theoretical value to be as less as possible let's name this d1 d2 d3 d4 and d5 so these distances and let me name the points p1 p2 p3 p4 and p5 so what i want to say is the straight line the average straight line which i draw which i have drawn from these points must be such that the distance from these points to the straight line such as d1 d2 d3 d4 and d5 must be as less as possible so we mathematically model this by saying the least square regression so what we do is basically the squares of this distance the squares of this distance must be as low as possible the graph must be such that the squares of this distance should be as less as possible so now what is the equation of this straight line suppose you are given now the problem which comes in the exam is you are given these straight these points p1 p2 p3 p4 and p5 and you are asked to find the straight line which passes in such a way that it follows this least square regression rule so in order to do this we have a certain formula which is like this some a summation of xi whole square plus b summation of xi is equal to summation of xi yi and another one let me name this one a summation of xi plus b times n equals to summation of yi this is number two so now what do these equations mean in this straight line suppose suppose the slope of this straight line 
is a and the y intercept the y intercept is equal to b the slope is a and the y intercept is b so from this equation by solving these two equations we can easily find a and b i will show how we are we the question which comes in the exam is we are usually given these points p1 p2 p3 and p4 as i had shown in this diagram these points are given and you are asked to find the equation of the straight line following this least square regression rule so as i have give, as i am provided with this points the data i have is x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 x4 y4 and x5 y5 suppose i have taken five such data i have collected five such data in the lab and now i am to find the straight line which will best fit this following the least square regression so a is the slope of that straight line which i just mentioned and b is the y intercept a is the slope of this straight line a is the slope of this straight line and b is the y intercept so here by solving these two equations we can easily find a and b now summation of x i square is given because the summation of x i square is nothing but the summation of x1 square x2 square x3 square x4 square and x5 square as we know all these points we can easily find summation of x i square similarly summation of x i summation of x i is nothing but x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5 so i know summation of x i summation of x i square what is summation of x i y i well summation of x i y i is also known to us because it is nothing but the product of these x1 y1 plus x2 y2 plus x3 y3 plus dot 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 x4 y4 summation of x i i have shown summation of y i similarly is the sum of all these y's and n is nothing but the number of points we are supplied with here we have five points so n is equal to five so like this we know all this x i square x i summation of x i y i summation of y i n x summation of x i so having the knowledge of all this we have two unknowns a and b we have two equations so we can easily solve for a and b so this was the explanatory part of linear regression now in the next video what i am going to do is i am going to solve an interesting problem in which i am going to find the acceleration due to gravity by given various data of the height and the time for which a tennis ball takes to fall from a certain height so the next video must be interesting thank you